there. You know what's interesting, though? So it is a liberal government. we got to wait to... But here's what's going to happen starting tomorrow morning. Uh, no F-35s. They're gone. Uh, weed is going to be legalized as of tomorrow, Jay. Uh, it's going to take a while. There's going to be a new way of pointing senators. <clears throat> Yeah, that's but a, this yeah, is what happens. Great. I mean, these are the, these yeah, are the changes that are coming in. Yeah. Uh, Daryl, it took us exactly uh, 10 minutes after the polls closed in Ontario, Quebec, and Manitoba, Saskatchewan, uh, to and make Alberta. this call. You were you were part of it. Uh, that's this, early. This is the surge. This is what we. That's exactly what we were talking about. The only thing we don't know at this stage is whether it's a minority or a majority. But everything's lining up exactly as the polling we released with uh, Global said yesterday that uh, uh, Trudeau is going to be at 24 Sussex. <laughs> Well, well, it's still voting in BC. <laughs> yes. so, so they'll let stuff we said about how uh, British Columbia was yeah. going to matter. And there'll be some very tight races, but uh, you're, so, so you sound like you're not convinced, or are you just no? Sort of I mean, I'm surprised Libby. that it's. Uh, um, well, I'm surprised that it, it would be called so early when we actually haven't seen the results from Ontario, Quebec, the rest uh, of Canada, I, I think BC. All, I think all very shocked. tight races. I mean, uh, Jack Harris, he has the strongest advance polling in in uh, Newfoundland. Um, we haven't, we haven't, that hasn't been counted in yet, so, you know, <laughs> all in good time. Being, being a senator from, from Ottawa, I've been watching, I want to see what these numbers look like in and around Ottawa. And if you see a certain cabinet minister go down uh, by the name of Pierre Polyver, uh, then Polyev. Polyev, this is, um, well, the French pronunciation is that, but whatever well, he the case used to be, run as Peter Polyver. Yeah. And then he whatever changed the case, his name to Pierre but he, he was expected to win uh, big, but in the whole Ottawa area right now, it's going to be red. Guys, yeah. we've been polling all day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've been talking to people who've come out of the booth. They've gone home. They've logged on. They've gone onto our poll. It's probably close to 15,000 people now. We know how this is going to end up. Uh, we wouldn't be saying it unless we were very, very clear. This is going to be a liberal government. We don't know yet minority or majority. That's the part we don't know. Mm -hmm. And we do know that... But it... that part we do know. But what we do, we do know, know is yeah. that the liberals under Justin Trudeau have brought an end to a decade of Tory rule as Stephen Harper. Definitively. Well, it is an historic election. Yeah. And I think people clearly wanted change. And we're definitely going to get that. And I think the fact that Mr. Harper appears to have begun, I think most people will welcome that in this country. We need a progressive direction in this, in this country. And, and I hope that the NDP will be there to play a very important role um, in in the new parliament. I think Jay, that's going to be very important. Jay Hill, the Tories kept saying he wasn't ready, that it was too risky to vote for Justin Trudeau. Did, well, was that a flawed message? Was that the wrong way to go? Well, it certainly would look like it's turned out that way. I mean, <laughs> uh, as we like to say, hindsight's always 20-20. Uh, but, you know, let's see. Uh, you know, a minute ago, Tom rattled off some of the things that uh, might not sit that well with a lot of Canadians. If it's a minority uh, parliament, I have a fair amount of experience trying to work with the other parties in a minority situation. If it's a minority parliament, for example, one of his major planks was deficit spending. He's going to have to look to either the NDP or the Conservatives to get sufficient votes to pass a budget that both the other parties <coughs> ran on balanced budgets. So that's just one issue. Uh, Tom rattled off a few others mm -hmm. uh, where Mr. Trudeau, as the new Prime Minister, is going to have some challenges unless he does achieve that majority. Then, of course, the whole game changes and he's pretty well given carte blanche for four years but to do what, but he, what he wants your, to do. there's others to your list too, Tom. I mean, there are the court challenges program we could mm -hmm. bring back. I mean, that's for minority groups taken away, status of women issues. Uh, letting scientists speak and so on and so forth and maybe Katimovic again for the young people of this country there are other positive social value changes there but as far as Mr. Harper is concerned you know from my perspective in a nine-year period if you peeve enough people off over a long period of time you know it's going to come back and bite you in the bum it's as simple as that and I think it's, it was about Mr. Harper from the beginning of it all and and and, and it was a referendum on Mr. Harper. And that's what the surveys show. And that's I mean, the way, it's, that's the way it's been. Because in terms of a lot of the things the government was proposing and that they were fighting on there's actually a fair amount of public support for them. Uh, it really was very personal uh, it was about change uh, it was about change in particular uh, for the Prime Minister uh, and this was very focused on exactly that question. Well, despite the length of the campaign I think very clearly what we've seen 
seen is that it became less and less about policy and more and more about personality as the campaign unfolded. But and I think obviously it's, that was it's, to the it's detriment the personality of Mr. related to the policy. I don't think you can actually separate the two. I think Mr. Harper became synonymous with some of these terrible uh, policies that we've seen that have changed this country so fundamentally. So they became very intertwined and I think that's why we saw those conservative ads trying to distance himself from that, right? And turn it back to another message, but clearly it didn't work. For those people who are just joining us, I want to bring you up to speed. Global News has declared a liberal government. We do not know at this point whether it will be a majority or a minority. That is still uh, to be determined by the results as they pour in from Quebec and Ontario, Alberta, Saskatchewan, uh, and British Columbia. The polls still haven't even closed there yet. Eric Sorensen,